Greetings programs! I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 12 of a Swedish learning to play run. Uh, no mods, no DLC. <clears throat> In the last episode we are... We are... We are... What did we do? We did something for a railway driver. Right, he died in a crash, fiery explosion, saved a lot of lives. So more than just a song, we're improving trade unions. Uh, let's unpause, get things going. We're trying to get our basic infrastructure up and running. Unused construction production. Oh, apparently I've got three things that I can build stuff. Uh, we're trying to get things up and running here. Trade route, importing cloth is unproductive. That's fine. Is that going to pop up every week? Because uh, we're also trying to get our people here to not be so turmoily. And see. So these guys are getting, are doing better. These aren't. They haven't improved much. Uh, let's see. I don't think they have much in the way of resources. We've got fishing wharves, uh, logging camps. I've got, and they don't have, oh, they do have agriculture throughput. Okay. So yeah, their focus, I think, is just going to be agriculture. Uh, let's see. Vineyards. Simple farming or soil enriching farming. Uses more fertilizer, employs more farmers. It's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, I need to clear my throat here. I'm going to. There we go. Unmuted testing. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we're, let's go ahead and expand this just to not enough qualifications. I want to get that, those peasants employed so that maybe the, they won't be so turmoily. Turmoily is a word that means in a state of turmoil. Uh, let's see. Artillery, steel, and fertilizer have all gone up in cost. Oh, a lot of things have gone up. Uh, furniture, clippers, and price of coal has gone down. Good, I like that. Okay, uh, let's see. Because, yeah, I've been, I've been getting these guys employed. And they're, yeah, much better. And so their turmoil is going down. And then I haven't been getting these guys employed in there, so I think their turmoil has kind of stayed the same. Quinine, very good. Max Colonial Affairs Investment, okay. Let's go ahead, we're gonna pause it while I explore this. What does the Bessemer process do? Bessemer process for steel mills. Uh, plus construction sector building throughput. I like that. Production method. Nitroglycerin. Plus 25% resource discovery chance. That sounds cool. I just tried to WASD through the uh, <laughs> technology tree. Uh, let's see. Baking powder. It's a production method. So it's something that I'd have to choose. Oh yeah, groceries. I saw something about grocery stores need to go I need to go look into that 
Let's 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 look at that first real quick before we pick a technology. Because there was something. Food industries. What does this actually do? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Produces groceries. Groceries consumed by pops of wealth and level oh, le wealth levels one to twenty nine is a basic need, and levels twenty to ninety nine is a luxury food need. <clears throat> uh, consumes a lot of grain. Employs laborers and shopkeepers. Gives me 20 urbanization. Uses two infrastructure. And the usual plus one throughput per level. I'm going to go ahead and build a food industries and see what it does. Uh, but in the meantime, I do like the... Uh, let's see. So it's just a technology. Oh, wait, it leads to reinforced concrete. And that's a... That's just a flat modifier, right? Yeah, I don't need to, like, pick it, select it anywhere. I want, I want stuff that gives me some flat modifiers if I can. Because that's just a straight... Uh, oh, nice. Economy of scale building level cap. That's cool. Baking powder. Nitroglycerin. Improved fertilizer. Steam donkey. That just sounds funny. Uh, rotary valve. Nothing here is giving me... All right, I don't... I can't get that yet. Got railways. Society. Oh, wow. Bu I don't have bureaucracy. Max law enforcement institution investment. Oh, law enforcement. Okay. Leads to a bunch of stuff that I already have. How do I have this stuff if I don't have bureaucracy yet? That's weird. Maybe that was added in a patch. Ooh, nationalism. Plus ten percent authority. You know what I need? I need something that improves my bureaucracy. Hmm. <laughs> Minus five percent bureaucracy population cost modifier. It's green. But that's a level three. Nine year. Oh, good. It's telling. It's actually telling me how long it's going to take to research now. That's handy. Three years, 21 months. Uh, let's go to institutions. I don't really want to improve the landowner's political strength. Um, but yeah, we'll take the, take that. That should be fine. Uh, we're looking at technologies. Let's go ahead and unpause to so let things kind of get cooking while I'm due on this decision. You know what? My military, I should not neglect the military here. Uh, let's see. Fieldworks. Army defense. Less on the morale loss. Rifling is kind of the fact that I'm picking it up from others. A triage, cool. 
Fieldworks or General Staff? Unlock Skirmish. Twenty nine months, twenty nine months, twenty eight. Cool. Ironclad. What does this do? Plus four. I think I, I just I did just pick this up, didn't I? Via. All right, you know what? I need to make a decision and just go with it. So we're going to go with Fieldworks. State's in turmoil still. Patagonia is in turmoil. Okay, expensive government goods. Iron. And productive trade routes, that's nice. Okay. Why is iron so expensive still? This will use more tools and coal. This will use transportation. This isn't going to change the cost of iron at all. We're in Sveeland. Oh, I'd really like to, yeah, bump it up here because we've got the, oops. Ah. Yes, uh, Sveeland has the throughput here. So, if, well, actually. Iron and lead. Oh, yeah, let's save their infrastructure for lead if we can help it. Yeah, let's do some... Oh, wait. I do have the infrastructure room for it. I do have the peasants. Yeah, let's bump up the iron mines. Wheat in Buenos Aires, food industries, and iron mines. Okay. That's not as bad as it was. All right. No. I do not want that. Okay, so while things are cooking, let's look at some... Oops, we've got some more... Yeah, I know. I know, unproductive, that's fine. Because we've got a lot of peasants, and so... So they're not able to buy clothing, I guess. Uh, and we want to, yeah, once we employ them, I think these routes will start being a little bit more productive. One hopes. Okay. So yeah, while that's doing, let's go look at some of the laws. Oops, what's going on here? Oh, I don't think I have, yeah, an interest, so it's not going to show me anything. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, yeah, can I colonize over here now? Uh, where is established colony? Yes. I don't know why I'm doing this. Is there anything good here? Fishing, they've got iron. Why am I doing this? Iron, they've got a lot of iron. Evidently. Why am I... No, and that's too close to France, and I've still got... Um, I'm still, uh, I still have trouble sleeping at night when I think of colonizing places next to France. Uh, so I guess they're going hard for Africa here. Is there anything useful? 
Oh, oh, wait a minute. Pause. So we, we can establish colonies and any of these. Let's see if they've got, what do they got here? Bananas, coffee, cotton, dye. Okay, now this looks a little bit more interesting. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and get in a, a colony down here and start getting picking up some of these areas. Isolated. Swedish Guinea is isolated. What does that mean? Uh, isolated if it's not connected by land and is not connected to land by land to a port that can make a port connection to its market capital. Do not generate any buy and sell, nor is the local price of goods affected by the market price. Okay, so basically what I need to do is build a port, right? In due to no active interest in Senegal. Oh wait, that's Portugal. Where? Oh, here I am. Here we go. Okay, once I get a little bit more peace treaty, uh, once I get a little bit more territory over here, we'll start remove colony. Okay, I'm already colonizing. Good, good. They've got some interesting stuff as well, but I don't want to. Yeah, they would be isolated if I was if I wasn't able to come down in here. So we'll wait on them. Okay. Cool, cool. You almost I could almost make you think I know what I'm doing. Huh. Uh, let's see. All right. So now it's gonna slow down the colony over here, but I'm also. That'll go up here in 22 weeks, so that's cool. Okay, are we still in turmoil? Yes. Oh, but it's going down. That's going down. Good, good. Their standard of living is middling. When I when I took this over, they were below struggling. Impoverished. Middling. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. All right. What's going on up here? We're building our food industries. Revolutionary Oldenburg begins conscription. Wait, our enemy? Why is it calling it our enemy? Okay. Let's see, North Germany. Revolutionary Oldenburg and Oldenburg. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, they're unhappy. Okay, that's nice. Could probably build up some more troops at some point. Just to make sure I don't... Oh yeah, I wanted to build up a barracks over here. 
Let's see. Let's see. Barracks. Let's see. We've got zero peasants and five unemployed here. Oh, th there's die. And not realize that. Cool. Um, 694 peasants. And what have we got here? 353. Okay. Uh oh. Bureaucratic shortfall. Or their institution growth will halt. Okay. I think that's just reflecting what this is about to be. But we should make some plans to improve our bureaucracy. Oh, we've got a scandal. Uh, let's see. Carl Axel Lindstrom of the Church of Sweden has been having a secret affair with a member of the clergy. That's not good. Resignation is being demanded. The very fact that this sneaky bastard thought he could get away with such a gross misuse of his power shows everything wrong with the leadership of the Church of Sweden. I don't know why I changed my voice for that. Uh, let's see. People must know of his depravity. He loses popularity. Or ignore it and it's less popularity. People must know of his depravity. I probably should have looked to see what he was doing for me, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so I think this is where we are going to call it for today. This is a good spot, as good as any. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that as much as I have. If you have, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As always, I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we've all learned something today. I also hope that they don't add another patch between episode 12 and 13 <laughs> just because I'd like a little bit of stability here and uh, I will see you guys next time.